You don't want to miss what they said, so here they are, Kathy, Kelly, and Ed. Thank you. Okay, that's enough. Welcome to the Kathy, Kelly, and Ed show. Which one am I? <laughs> Our guest today is president and CEO of Reused Jeans, George Powell. Thank you, Kathy Kelly. Does each pair of reused jeans really save 16,000 gallons of water? OMG, that wouldn't fill Melissa McCarthy's bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> It takes about 1,600 gallons of water to grow one pound of cotton. It takes one pound of cotton to make one pair of jeans. I was gonna say! <laughs> he is so bad with numbers. Well, your wardrobe is causing a drought. <laughs> my, my, my. Busted! <laughs> okay, George Powell, tell us about reused jeans. Reuse is an acronym for Recycle, Environment, You Save Earth. So our premise was the amount of trash that goes into the landfills from waste. The United States throws away about 12 billion tons of textile waste a year. I've thrown away more than that. And now, the special bulletin concerning the fate of planet Earth. I'm Mike Wazaluka, and behind me is the Earth City landfill in the city of St. Louis, right here in the great state of Missouri. Minutes ago, local resident Herbert G. Lodes and his second wife, Alberta, witnessed the birth of a gigantic pair of blue jeans rising from this landfill. The more water these jeans absorb, the larger they grow, slurping up every drop in their path. Well, first I thought it was a sculpture by Christo. But then I realized it was either a being from another world. You're drunk. Or that. I'm MTQ Collins, and with me is textile king and nuclear fusion expert Dr. Marion Belgrie. Textile vase in this landfill are sucking up water at a rate of 1,600 gallons per second. If these jeans make it to the arch and the Mississippi River, they will grow into a pair of, of trousers of terror. On the east side, MTQ Collins. Channel 8 News. Operation Trousers of Terror will return. So when I started this, the premise was to put a dent in the amount of trash we're throwing away. Is reuse self-sufficient? Absolutely. We have our own internal design. We have our own factory where we do the cutting and the sewing and the washing. We're very systemic in the entire process. So we try to be very sustainable from start to finish. <laughs> Operation Trousers of Terror 2014. I'm Dennis Janicek, and this is Operation Trousers of Terror Commander General Armstrong Doogie Baker. Wella, wella, what can you tell us, General? Wella, wella, Dennis, we have ground troops. We have nautical support. And we have air cover. The only thing we don't have is a chance. We need a really smart genius with a really brilliant idea. George Powell, do you believe your product can prevent the growth of these mean genes? That's trousers of terror, KK. <laughs> <laughs> Where my heart is, if you believe in this product, you need to get it. And you need to wear it because you believe in sustainability and you want to make a statement. George Powell, everybody. Operation Trousers of Terror 2014, Day 1. OMG, they're almost to the river. Nothing can stop them. Why don't somebody just unzip the fly?
Thank you.